Merry Christmas and welcome to our Savior Lutheran Church's Christmas service. We are glad that you could join us. Let us begin. Up the heavens, angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sin is reconciled. Joy for all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the sky. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Up the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adore, Christ the everlasting Lord. Made in time, behold Him come, offspring of a virgin womb. Veiled in flesh, the God and see, hail incarnate deity, pleased as man with us to dwell. Jesus, our Emmanuel, hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace, hail the Son of Righteousness, made in life to all He brings, risen with healing in his wings, mild he lays his glory by, born that we no more may die, born to raise each child of earth, born to give us second birth, hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. The angel said to the shepherds, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. As we gather, we hear again the good news the angels proclaimed. God has come for all people through the birth of the one named Jesus. Through Bethlehem's manger, God comes to us in chaos, messiness, and vulnerability of the world. In all things and at all times we rejoice that God comes to save us and reigns in love. We come to adore Jesus who is Savior, Christ, and Lord. Let us confess our sins. Amid the troubles and fears of the world, let us confess our sin and welcome God's forgiveness, grace, and love. Mary accepted your call to be the mother of Jesus. Forgive our lack of faith and trust. Your son was born in the poverty of a stable. For, forgive our neglect of the poor. The shepherds left their flocks and went to Bethlehem. Forgive our selfishness and complacency. With great joy, the angels proclaimed, do not fear, for I bring you good news of great joy. Today is born a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. In Jesus, who is Savior, Christ and Lord, our sins are forgiven. May you know the peace which the angels sang from the heavens. Indeed, God's forgiveness is good news of great joy. Amen. The world, treasure of heaven, brilliant like the stars in the wintry sky. Toy of the Father, reach to the darkness, shine across the earth, send the shadows to fly. Light of the world, from the beginning, the tragedies of time were no match for your love. 
great heights of glory, you saw my story, God, you entered in and became one of us. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah for things he has done. Come and adore him, bow down before him, sing hallelujah to the light of the world. the world, crowned in a manger, born for the cross, to suffer to save. High King of heaven, death is the poorer, we are the richer by the price they pay. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah for the things he has done. And adore him, bow down before him, sing hallelujah to the light of the world. Light of the world, soon will be coming with fire in his eyes, he will ransom his own, to clouds he will lead us. Straight into glory, and there he shall reign forevermore, forevermore. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah for the things he has done. Come and adore him, bow down before him, sing hallelujah. To the light of the world Let us pray. Eternal Father, you gave your incarnate Son the holy name of Jesus to be a sign of our salvation. Plant in every heart the love of the Savior of the world, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 8. O Lord, our Sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have founded a bulwark because of your foes, to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them a little lower than God, and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. A reading from Isaiah. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and I will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation, and you will say in that day, Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted, sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout aloud and sing for joy, O royal Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. A reading from Matthew. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, 
an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. from Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint heart. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. For as the earth brings forth its shoots and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will call, cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. A reading from John. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. The next day he saw Jesus coming toward him and declared, Here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks ahead of me, 
because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but I came baptizing with water for this reason, that he might be revealed to Israel. And John testified, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it remained on him. I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water said to me, He on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain is the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I myself have seen and have testified that this is the Son of God. from Isaiah. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him, each had six wings, with two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. The pivots on the threshold shook at the voices of those who called, and the house filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. And the seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed and your sin is blotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here here am I, send me. A reading from Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, 
How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Let us confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And we would invite everyone at home, if you would like to receive communion this evening, to please have your elements of communion ready. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to praise in you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ. In the wonder and mystery of the Word made flesh, you have opened the eyes of faith to a new and radiant vision of your glory, that beholding the God made visible, we may be drawn to love the God whom we cannot see. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy God, creator of all and source of life, 
At the birth of time, your word brought light into the world. In the fullness of time, you sent your word, born of Mary, to shine in our darkness and to make us your daughters and sons. We invite you to hold your elements of communion. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And again after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Remembering, therefore, his birth and life among us, his death and resurrection, we await his coming again when all things will be restored in him. By your Spirit, bless us in this bread and cup that held and nourished by you, we may live as your children, shining with the light of your Son. Through him all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, both now and forever. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We invite you to take your bread, the body of Christ given for you. And the wine, the blood of Christ, shed for you. May the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. Radiant God, with our eyes we have seen your salvation, and in this meal we have feasted on your grace. May your word take flesh in us, that we may be your holy people, revealing your glory made known to us in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being? In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into him, came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become the children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as if the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem 
to ask him, who are you? To sleep, my son, there's manger for your bed. You have a long road before you. Rest your little head. Can you feel the weight of your glory? Do you understand the price? Oh, does the Father God your heart for now? So you can sleep tonight Go to sleep my son Go and chase your dreams This world can wait for one more moment Go and sleep in peace I believe the glory of heaven Lying in my arms tonight But Lord, I ask that he For just this moment Simply be my child Go to sleep, my son Baby, close your eyes enough you'll save the day but now dear child of mine oh my Jesus depart. receive God's blessing may you be filled with the wonder of Mary the obedience of Joseph the joy of the angels the eagerness of the shepherds and the everlasting peace of Jesus, who is Savior, Christ, and Lord. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you and keep you now and forever. Amen. Oh, tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Oh, tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. When I was a learner, I sought both night and day. I asked the Lord to help me, and He showed me the way. Go oh, tell it on the mountain. Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain Jesus Christ is born The shepherds kept their watching Over silent clocks by night Behold from out of heaven The shown a holy light Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is born. Hello, when they have seen it, they all bow down and pray. Traveled on together. To where the babe was laid Oh, tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go oh, tell it on the mountain Jesus Christ is born Now he made me a watchman on the city wall And if I'm truly a Christian I am the least of all Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain 
Jesus Christ is born.